Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're taking a look here at the Rage Nucleon High Mobility Backpack. This is kind of meant for the Hainu Verka, but you can use it with a bunch of different stuff as well too, as we'll see in this video. I'll try to demonstrate this on a couple of different kits for you guys. But this is a kit that has been out for a while and you guys may have seen this around, but uh, it's just a plastic model kit, uh, backpack parts here, and it's pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and take a look. So right here on the top of the box, you can see a front and rear view of what the backpack is going to look like. So it's very similar to the Hainu backpack, but it's just kind of got a little bit uh, different design. So you might like this little bit more kind of stylistic design of this one. Interestingly, over here it says no fin funnel included. So I'm confused by that because it appears there's fin funnels included, but it says no fin funnel included. So I don't know about that. Because then if you look over here on the other side, it's also a little bit confusing for the accessories list here. It says no antenna or weapon body included. So it looks like you've got maybe some parts to make a little bit different style head, but no antenna and then maybe a different uh, hyper beam rifle you can make, but not without the body parts. So you need parts from the uh, Hainu Verka kit, maybe, to make these entirely. Well, we'll see once I get to actually building the kit. Completely new design beyond imagination. So here's just some more detail images of that. You can move the fuel tanks. You can open up the top little hatch there where it's got the beam saber handle stored. You can move the parts of the backpack, all kind of things you might expect. But as you guys can see, it's a pretty good sized box for what is basically just a backpack. So let's see what we got all in here. So we've got our instruction manual. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. And pretty cool, all the uh, bags have this like warning sign uh, printed on there. Just kind of a gimmicky thing to make this look more cool, I guess. But there you go. So you got all your runners in there in a few different colors, white, off-white, purple, gray. So right on the front of the manual, it really looks like this is a resin set. If you guys have ever built any resin conversion kits or something like that, this is a very resin looking image here on the front of the manual. But there's a look at that. Around here on the back is just kind of the same thing. There's a color chart there for you in Japanese and Chinese, or just Japanese. Yeah, it's just Japanese. If you open up to the front bit, there we've got our parts list. So it looks like we've got a bunch of parts that we won't end up using. That's kind of weird to have this as like a backpack set that you're buying just for the backpack and having so many leftover pieces. So I'm not really too sure about that. Anyway, uh, so then you just build up the backpack. That's going to be obviously the main thing here. And you got some more. This is a cool like illustration of that some more little bits of information it's all in Japanese strangely enough and continuing on with that and then the head parts so yeah, it looks like these three pieces you'll need from the original Verkake so you can build I think basically all of this minus the front three parts of the V-Fin and then as for the beam rifle yeah so you use like the main body of the beam rifle and you're basically building these separate parts to attach so the top part the bottom part and the barrel part will be different those are the new parts that you can build with this set you add on to the body of the rifle of the original kit to make it look a little bit different. And over here is the interesting information to show you what kits you can use this on. So we have some different attachment parts for using this with some different kits. So say for example with the Unicorn, the Shinanjo, or the Shinanjo Stein, which none of them are named in here. You just have to know like the numbers and then there's pretty obvious to tell what they are. But I guess probably for copyright reasons they don't have the actual Gundam names in here. And I think some versions of this kit are sold where like this part is actually blank. So there's no text in there at all. But so you have attachment parts for that or attachment parts, which is different here if you're using this on a Master Grade Astray kit or on the Master Grade Seed kits, which use the different backpack adapter type. You have an adapter for that as well too. So it looks like you got some adapters to be able to use this on a few other different kits aside from just the Master Grade Hainu Verka. So that's cool. So right then getting on into the runners, because we don't have any stickers or water slides or anything like that included with this, it really would have been nice if it would have included a set of water slides for the backpack, that would have been cool, but here we have runner A, which is a pretty large gray runner. Runner B here is in a warm off-white color, it looks quite nice. Runner C is in that really nice bright purple color, and we've got two of the C runner. Runner D here also in white, and this one as well we've got two of. Runner E is also off-white, a little bit more kind of like a very light gray color here for these two. You have some nice color separation amongst your white colors. And the same color used for runner F here as well for some of these little detail parts. We've got two of these. Runner G is some parts here in white, including some of those parts there as you can see for the head. Runner H is back to some parts here in gray, and we've got two of this H runner. Runner I is some parts here in just plain clear. Runner J is once again some of our light gray off-white colors. We've got two of this J runner. And then Runner K is back to gray for our last few little parts on there. 
So, yeah, interesting, it looks like there are, in fact, no parts for making the fin funnels with this set. That's kind of a shame, and also, no full parts for making the fuel tanks, so you need to use the fuel tank parts uh, from the original kits and the fin funnels from the original kits, so you actually can't make this full thing as it looks like, which is a bit of a shame. I thought that you'd be able to make this whole thing based on just what you got here in the box, because again, you got a pretty big box and a good amount of stuff in there. So I gotta say, honestly, that's a little bit disappointing at the moment, but of course, if you're using this with the High New Gundam, that's all good and well, but if you're planning on using this with something else, not the High New Gundam, then you're definitely gonna be missing some parts that you can't really do a whole lot with with this. But let me go ahead and build up, get it built up, and then we'll see how it's all looking. All right, guys, so I'm back now after it's been actually a couple weeks since I filmed the unboxing for this, actually, because uh, after building this, I realized you really just do kind of need the high new. So while in the manual we saw this does show how you can use this backpack with other different mobile suits, and we will try this out with a couple of their different Master Grade kits, in order to really actually do anything with this, you really just need the high new Gundam. So as we saw, it does not come with the funnels, also doesn't come with the funnel attachment pieces. So you will at least need those funnel attachment pieces to be able to connect the funnels, which you also need to take from the high new kit. And it also does not come with the fuel tanks, which you'll need from the high new kit. So you just have these places where the fuel tanks are supposed to connect and nothing else to really do with them. And as we saw, it comes with almost a full head, just not the entire head. You don't have the V-fin, you'll need that from the high new. And then you have new parts for the rifle, which I've just gone ahead and assembled this. You don't have the full parts to make the entire rifle, but you have to use a combination of the new parts included with this set and uh, some parts from the original high new kit but ultimately I mean the new rifle with the added parts on there it looks fantastic very cool design uh, with these parts added on to that it looks much more bulkier very cool I do really like this new rifle design um, but anyway so the long and short of it is that I would definitely recommend you guys at least have the high new kit to go along with this just to compare the two heads here minus the v-fin as the v-fin will be the same this one is the bandai head which has clear green parts in there for the eyes it is a little bit smaller as you can tell too especially when you look at it from the side you can see how the new head is like a little bit longer a little bit kind of taller just like ultimately a little bit larger and a little bit more detailed that it has this kind of added detail there on the side that the bandai version doesn't have going to be pretty similar ultimately but you can just see how honestly i'm not sure, really sure which version I, I like more there is aspects of the bandai version that i do like but i think the new head does also look pretty cool as well too let's go ahead and pop the v-fin onto there and here's how that's going to be looking and we can just go ahead and put this onto the kit as well i've got the head on there it doesn't really feel like it's a super tight fit on the ball joint that it connects onto for the neck so it does feel a little bit loose and also it's too wide to fit within this color piece so the color piece as you, as you can see is kind of like hitting onto the sides of the the bottom of the head there. That said, I do really like the look of this new head. It is a little bit larger, so it's just gonna be kind of up to you as to which design you prefer, but I think this one does look pretty nice. Just the kind of fitting issues of how that fits into the torso is a little bit uncomfortable. Now just getting back to the backpack here is comparing it with the Bandai version over here on this side and the Rage Nucleon version. So obviously it's got, uh, they're both actually quite highly detailed. Obviously the Rage Nucleon version has a lot more detail going on, especially in the center section, which on the Bandai version is pretty plain in comparison. So you have a lot of little color separation there with these little light gray bits, especially up inside here. It's gonna be looking very cool as well too. Of course, if you paint the Bandai's version, it's gonna be looking better once it's actually painted, but even unpainted, the Rage Nucleon version does look great even straight out of the box and then just comparing the details here as well too both of them have the functional door for storing the beam saber so you just pop that open and your beam saber handle will fit up inside there same as with the original that pops open your beam saber handle goes inside there that said this like kind of fin underneath the kind of antenna looking part there is kind of a little bit ugly on that one to be honest so i think the design for the rage nucleon version with just this little kind of fin up there at the top is pretty nice that said it doesn't want to close all the way there's a little bit of a gap there so you might have to do a little bit of sanding on those parts inside there to be able to make that so that it can actually close up tightly and not leave that gap there and just comparing the main center part of this as well too you can see there's a lot more detail with this stuff going on uh, on the center section there as far as any like seam lines or anything on this mostly it's kind of okay you will have a couple of seam lines right there on the top but other than that i mean i gotta say it is a very nice design so just plugging our fuel tanks onto here to give us the full effect of that well i guess not the full effect yet we still have to put the uh, funnels on there as well too so let's go ahead and, and pop those onto the backpack all right guys so here is everything on the kit you got the mostly new backpack the 
mostly new head and the mostly new gun and I gotta say they look really great together the colors match basically perfectly as far as I can tell those look like they match right on especially that purple you might think oh, it could be ending up you know, a little bit off but no it looks right to me and also the detail I think does mesh pretty well it's the kind of problem with these kind of kits sometimes is that they don't end up matching very well with the detail of the kit they're used for say so for example you could have these new backpack parts which are really cool and super detailed and then they're just unfortunately much more detailed than the rest of the kit they're attached onto and they end up looking a bit weird. Whereas this case, uh, the backpack parts are pretty well detailed, but the base kit is pretty nicely detailed in areas as well too. Now I have some sections of the kit with where that differs, especially in like the lower legs. Say for example, you have a lot of wide open spaces that don't have a lot of detail in there, but I think overall the backpack parts match pretty well with the mobile suit here. All right, now one problem though that I am having with this is that this backpack is heavier than the original backpack. So heavy that it tends to pull the whole head or like head neck section off the kit. So you can see that's just kind of connected there. Uh, and this is where you're meant to be able to put the LED unit in there. But yeah, it's so heavy that it's pulling that off of there. So you might want to use some glue or something to attach this piece. If you don't want to be able to use the LED unit, glue the piece of the torso to the back of the kit here so that you're not having that pulling that apart. Because basically when I'm trying to do some action poses with this up on the action base, it's just not working because anytime I try to put this up on the base, the whole thing is just coming apart because this new backpack is, is heavier. And also I'm noticing that these are also kind of loose here as well too so you might want to tighten this up a little bit so that you're not having these just like flopping down because of the gravity if you want to be able to have them up at an angle just because they're heavy and this is not a very tight joint in there for where these rotate there like that but let's go ahead and try this out on a couple of different kits here to wrap up the review okay so one example we're going to try here is with the master grade blitz gundam and this is just using the same adapter piece that you can use i think probably for most of the master grade seed gat kits so I just have this different adapter pieces added on to here now and obviously I don't really expect this to work as far as like design wise and size it's just going to be way too big. So yeah first of all it still leaves a little bit of an ugly gap there between the suit and the backpack and then just in general I don't know if it's really much of a good flow. I mean if you wanted like a huge ass backpack for your Blitz Gundam uh, where like the backpack is like almost as big as the Gundam itself. I mean, honestly, you could make it work. I think it looks weird being in completely different colors now for the moment, but I mean, you could, you know I mean, make a pretty interesting kind of Blitz Gundam or, you know, other different Gat series Gundam with that. The other one that we'll try out, which I think is much more likely to be a better fit here is on the Shinanju Stein. Now this is the narrative version. You could use the Verka or the regular Shinanju or the OVA version of the Shinanju or any version of the Master Grade Unicorn minus the MGEX. All use the same backpack adapter here so that this should be a pretty simple fit now the size obviously will be a better fit with this one and just uh, design wise should be probably a little bit better as well too you are gonna have some weight issues on the backpack I think that is going to be pretty taxing on that very small connection that it has to the backpack so again I would maybe recommend trying to enforce that in some way by adding some other kind of support rods or something in that if you wanted to use this with that but uh, as far as like design wise I think it's a pretty interesting match I think uh, you could also maybe use this with like uh, the regular Shinanju and just like heavily customize it a bit and it could be pretty cool mixing some of the parts or something but anyway very nice backpack I think overall your best bet is just going to be sticking with the high new so if you wanted a little bit different a little bit more detailed version of the backpack for the high new you wanted your you want to make your master grade high new verka and you know make it stand out a little bit more than your standard everyday one that everyone's got you know, make it look a little bit more customized without having to actually do a bunch of customization work on your own. And this uh, this backpack is a, a good set for that. So definitely check it out if you guys are interested. I wish it would have come with the fuel tanks and the fin funnels and stuff, but I don't know if maybe it just, they didn't just to avoid copyright stuff or something. I don't know really why they didn't include all those parts in there. That'd be, be kind of my one main complaint about it. But other than that, it's a pretty cool set. Check it out at USA Gundam Store. As you guys know, the link and the coupon code will be down in the video description for you guys to check out. Thank you so much for your support liking the video commenting subscribing all that's greatly appreciated as well too so until next time guys i'll see y'all later have a great day bye, -bye.